The police searching this home overnight, which state records say belongs to Ryan Ruth. The neighbors in this community tell me they have not seen him here in months. I didn't realize he lived two doors down. Josh Patrick recalls seeing Ruth three times over the past couple of years, describing the interactions as unusual. When I was out walking, probably around midnight, and I walked past his place back there. I saw him come out of the gate. I saw him slam the gate a couple of times, kind of like for no reason. And he walked next to me just like a few paces away, and he kept my pace, and he sped up. And Patrick says he never saw or heard him say anything political, and we did not see any signs of that nature at the house. According to ABC News, on June 10th, 2020, Ruth's apparent ex-profile directed a post at Trump in which he had said he had supported Trump in 2016, but that Trump had become a, quote, disappointment. The post concluded, quote, I will be glad when you are gone. Several ex-posts in March 2020 referred to support for then-Democratic presidential primary candidates Bernie Sanders and Tulsi Gabbard. Posts in January of this year indicated support for former Republican presidential primary candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. The X account has since been suspended. Today, we went one-on-one -on -one with Fred Burden, a retired counterterrorism agent who served in the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. The biggest thing to evaluate from a protective intelligence perspective is, was the person of record before? And if so, what agencies were aware of him? And what was his focus of interest or fixation and former President Trump. Ruth has a lengthy criminal record in North Carolina for charges including carrying a concealed weapon, possession of a weapon of mass destruction, driving with a revoked license, hit and run, and possession of stolen goods. As a convicted felon, he was not allowed to own a firearm. Tonight, it's not known how he was able to acquire the AK-47 style rifle recovered by authorities. And tonight we are trying to confirm the current ownership of the house. Neighbors telling us they recall Ruth even printing out flyers in an attempt to sell the property. As mentioned, two people noting that he had moved to Hawaii a number of years ago. It's believed a family member was staying at the house afterwards, though nobody currently here at this juncture. In Greensboro, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.